Okay, dragonfly review on the fly. The content in the following video is not suitable for children under the age of 13, so viewer discretion is advised, please. Alright, well, here we go. War for Cybertron Kingdom Warpath. He likes to blam those Decepticons. Anyways, again, we get the always interesting trading card with the stickiness. Again, another Optimus, Dead Optimus, no different. I've gotten a few of these ones now already. Not a big deal. Um, then we get uh, to the box. Nice instructions. Or not instructions, but nice box. Uh, him in tank mode there. Um, and then on the side, uh, he has in the artwork there. Nice robot depiction of him there in front of the art. Up there on a mountain. On the back we have um, him in tank mode and robot mode. And for some strange reason they're doing these symbols again. I don't know what these symbols mean. I can't remember. And on the side again we have the uh, nifty little uh, kingdom artwork. And again, they give us some really nicely uh, detailed instructions. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, they're nicely detailed and what have you. And before anybody goes down in the comments and say I have him mistransformed, I like him with his barrel out. That's more of the cartoon accuracy and the G1 toy accuracy. That's why I left the barrel out. I know in the instructions they show to shove it all the way in. I don't like it that way. This way it's more accurate to the cartoon. Because there's quite a few shots where that barrel's sticking straight out. And uh, the G1 toy is the same deal. So, get that out of the way. I, I know it's the elephant in the room. Um, because I know a lot of people, like, when something's mistransformed, it bugs them. It does me too. But in this case, this is the way it should be. I don't know why they made it to where it pushed into the chest. I don't know why. But that's just, you know, that's my opinion. I, I think they should have just left it like that and call her good. Um, but anyways, we'll get into uh, a bit of a comparison here. For comparison, I have the OG G1 Warpath. Um, they, they, they got the color pretty close. Um, this one seems to be a little bit darker, but that could just be because this one's been sitting around forever. I don't know how like the plastic has aged color wise. If the colors change at all, I don't know. Um, I was a little kid, so you know we don't always remember things. You know how they were when we were kids. So, anyways, uh, to get into some uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, posability, you know, its movement and whatnot, and with the barrel being out like this, you can also. Uh, Point it up or down. And so, anyways, uh, his head's on a ball joint. He can go 360. Um, I know somebody else, their uh, cannon piece is loose. It's so floppy loose, and I feel so bad for him. Um, I believe it was Patriot Prime. I I might be mistaken, but I, I think it was Patriot Prime that is his cannon so loose. Um, you know, his turret's just floppy. Uh, give you a nice shield with them. Um, his arms can go up about there. Um, I mean, they go full 360 all the way around. Elbow does 90. Um, he does have a waist. Mine's pretty tight. Um, his knees, not quite 90. Um, he does have ankle tilt. No toe tilt. Does have a roast, wrist rotation. Um, he has thigh rotation. Um, bicep rotation. Um, mine, the waist is a little bit weak. I wonder if there's something I could do to tighten it up. That way, I, I don't know. I wish that they would uh left them with screws. And well, there is a screw in this one. I know a lot of these they have been removing screws and putting pins in them 
which makes it like really hard for customizers because I like to take things completely apart when I do a custom. Um, but yeah, that's just uh, my opinion on that. So we'll get into transformation here. He is a bit complicated with his legs, but the rest of them is pretty simple. Set that aside. Um, stuck with his legs. What you want to first do is take the leg and pull it out like that. Then you want to pull it back in like that. So it's like in and then back out. Same with the other side. You want to take it and pull it or cording it out. All the way. Then on the secondary hinge, if I can get a hold of it, pull it all the way back in. So it's like that. Now, I have one thing I did do um, is I put an Autobot logo right on his belly where it should be. And you don't see it when he's in robot or in vehicle mode. And the one that's in vehicle mode, you don't see in robot mode. So that's kind of a win-win. And you fold both of these up. So first you want to, again, how do I get this? See, that this, this transformation is so cumbersome. There we go. I had the legs wrong again. I don't really care for his legs. <laughs> but, I mean, he's not bad. I mean, I transform him and I realize, like, the legs are not done right and I have to redo them every time. But So then you're going to have something that looks kind of like that. So he's like a half a robot. <laughs> then you want to take these and fold these out. Give him his other half of his tracks on his arms. Now what you want to do is you want to take this, fold this down like this, just like that. And then you want to take, how does that work again? It's, this is like a very tricky piece. Once you get that, then you can fold this all the way up. Like so. Put the, the flap up inside there. And you want to fold this down. Put the head inside. Close it back up. And you want to take the hands and feed them inside there. You want to take this, which is a shield, which I think was a, to be honest, I think it was a design choice due to uh, the transformation because he doesn't like to stay together there. But this piece actually solidifies and holds the two legs together. So I have a feeling that was a design choice. They gave us an accessory in order to help with uh, the stability of the alt mode and you have that like that and then you want to take see if I can pick it out of there see if I find something to push that through with Now you have him in his tank mode, and he yes, he can take blast effects. So that is him in his tank mode. Now for comparison, his G1 tank right there is, uh, you know, for what it was in the day, pretty neat. Um, the turret can go side to side. Nice tight turret on mine. He has wheels. He moves pretty good. So does the G1. You know. Um, so he moves pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's 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 nice. Um, 
nice Autobot symbol here. Um, his belly where I put that sticker, that small square should have been maroonish red, but they didn't do that. Um, so that that was my only gripe with the coloring. Um, but overall, he's he's pretty nice. Um, he's the only other version of this character that I have. So I mean. That it is what it is there, um, but he's a very nice figure. I mean, he's not too bad to transform. His legs sometimes can get a bit confusing because the way they're accordion, they're pain in the butt. Um, so yeah, I mean, this figure is not bad. Um, I have done a few reviews where the figure's just trash. This one, on the other hand, isn't horrible. Um, I've seen worse. Um, but, I mean, he is... He's much better than a lot of them that I have done. Um... Try to put him back in his robot mode. Um, he scales pretty good um, with other figures. Um, I'm not going to bring any other figures out right now with him because I think standing alone, he's pretty good. Because um, they were him as well as like Power Glide and Bumblebee, they were all mini bots. Um, We've gotten a new Bumblebee. We've gotten a new uh, Cliff Jumper. Give me a new version of Power Glide, please, and a bigger version. You know, a bigger version of Power Glide and a bigger version of Sea Spray that are about this size. I'd be really happy, Hasbro. You know that. You know, I think that'd be great. Yeah, this little section down here should be like the the same color as this. Um. So. Yeah, he's great. You can also put the blast effect still on his chest there. Or you could do, you know, one there. Getting shot. Getting bland. As he would say. Um, but anyways, uh, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification to know notifies you every time I put something new up. And thanks for watching.